Good evening. We're VIPs tonight. We're on the red carpet because we've come down to the opening of Roma Italia and Namaste Indian restaurant here in Playa Blanca Lanzarote. Mrs. Travelani's super excited, no? Very. And I am absolutely starving. The boys are joining us as well. We're going to have a little family meal. I think we're going to sit in the Namaste restaurant, but maybe we'll try a little bit of Italian as well. Let's go and see these two fantastic new additions to Playa Blanca Lanzarote. Come and join us for dinner. Let's go. So it's been a long time in the waiting for this place to open and so much planning and preparation has gone into this. So the staff were really, really excited and what a welcome on the red carpet. I'll tell you what, these guys were so proud of what they'd achieved and they worked so hard on this evening as well. You'll see throughout the video. We got a free glass of champagne and off we went. Now you've got Roma Italia on one side and on the other side you've got the Namaste Indian Tandoori restaurant which is where we are going to go for this evening. We sat down in these beautiful surroundings. I tell you what, it was such a privilege to be one of the first customers in this place. Look at the decoration. So welcome to Namaste. We've chosen the Indian, but Roma Italia is literally next door. And we've been served a little bit of a nibbly starter as well, just to get us going with some pizza from next door. And I tell you what, that looks beautiful. Wow, that is gorgeous. So we're coming back and we're gonna do the Italian on another video. So we're gonna get a double whammy here, but let's get stuck in. Let's have a look at the menu here at the brand new Namaste in Playa Blanca. Jimmy, one of the owners of the restaurants, came over to present us the new menu and serve us drinks. And as always, it was service with a smile. So, so everything is brand spanking new, down to the glasses, really shiny. And we've got to start with a little bit of a posh water, haven't we? Mrs. Travelon has not only got a complimentary champagne, but she's gone for a glass of wine as well. So here we go. Let's have a look at the brand new menu here at Namaste. I love it. Look at that. They've got everything as you would expect. And this place is actually owned by the same guys that own Spice Fusion in the Papagayo Centre. And we've done a video there and we love that place. So you've got all your traditional breads, your naan breads, all your curries, all your starters, like your papa dums, which I'm definitely diving into. You got your samosas, your onion barges, and starters are ranging from anything from sort of uh, 490 to 550. And for a place like this, with these views and the location, that is not bad. Main courses, well, you've got absolutely everything. Everything that you would expect, including vegetarian dishes as well. So the veggies are well catered for here. And your sort of tandoori dishes and your curry dishes are ranging from sort of 1190 up to sort of 16, 17 euros when you sort of go to the lambs and the prawns. So a really, really good price. I tell you what, I cannot wait to get stuck in. I don't know what we're gonna have, but I'm gonna go for something a little bit spicy, I think. I left Mrs. Travelon in charge of doing the ordering. I don't know why she asks everybody. She makes her own rules up this one. But the waiter came over, really friendly guy. And I love the new uniforms as well. In fact, I love the whole design of this place. It is just so well thought out. The attention to detail is just remarkable. Big friendly smiles from our waiter. And while this place started to fill up and the sun went down, well, I went for a little wonder to see what was going on. And just look at the beautiful outside area by this time it was filling up it was getting busy and i tell you what i was getting hungry as well i didn't have to wait too long because the papa doms arrived and i couldn't wait to get stuck in so we've ordered and i've got a little treat for you i've gone for a very hot curry i've actually gone for a vindaloo if i can handle the vindaloo next time we come for an indian i'm going to try a farm but we haven't gone for starters this time because that little sample from the italian was enough to get us started so We've got some poppadoms, which you know are my favourite, and all the sauces as well. We've got the onion, we've got the mint, and of course, we've got the mango as well. So, this is my favourite part of an Indian meal. You've got to love the poppadoms. Let's get stuck in. Right, you know you're in a good place when the consistency of the mango is really, really thick. I love a bit of mango chutney. I'm getting that straight on that plate and plenty of it as well. And you know what I ask you, every time we come for an Indian, I say, what are you, a scooper or a dipper? You know I'm a scooper, but check my plate out. 
Look at the design of that. The presentation. I mean, you've got to make things look good when you're in such beautiful surroundings, haven't you? So let's get this cracked and let's get scooping. Mm. Wow, absolutely delicious. So these that are getting stuck into the papadoms, Mrs. Travelon looking like she's enjoying that. Jack's straight in with the dips. And Alfie has it plain like a massive crisp, don't you? Is it nice like that? Yeah. <laughs> Nighttime arrived and the terrace started to fill up with lots of hungry people and my hungry people were getting served. Well, an absolute treat. Look at this. I tell you what, if this video had a scratch and sniff, you would be smelling the most amazing Indian food. Look at Mrs. Travelon's face. She's always happy when food's involved and when this type of food's involved, well, we're all happy. Look at the colors, look at the presentation. I tell you what, it's absolutely incredible. And all brand spanking new we must be the first people to eat off these plates and all the curries that were served in these different shaped dishes as well were just amazing well what can i say this looks absolutely delicious and everything is so well presented look even the rice look comes in this little pan now alfie's gone for his favorite the sizzling tandoori and look at that i tell you what i've got to have a little sample of that is that okay yeah. he's giving me dirty looks i have to try that looks beautiful we've gone for a balti which is in this pretty cool dish and like i said i've gone for something a little bit hot i've gone for a vindaloo so let's see just how hot this is and like i said if this doesn't kill me i'll definitely go for a fowl next time tell you what you're putting me through me paces we've also mrs travelon has gone for her favorite which is a butter chicken and these are super hot so i can't hold them too long but oh, wow you can see the butter on that it just looks absolutely delicious we got naan breads as well mrs travelon passed me the naan bread we've got a garlic naan and a keema naan too anyway these lot are looking at me as if to say hurry up we want to start eating so let's get stuck in Right then, I'm going straight in with the mushroom pillow rice. I have to share this with Mrs. Travelon. Straight on the plate. A little bit extra for me. Don't tell her. And I suppose I'm just going to plunk this straight on the plate. It's a lamb vindaloo. Oh. <laughs> now, I don't know if I've had a vindaloo before, but I know that they're very spicy. I thought I'd try the hottest, so I said, what's the hottest? And he said, a fowl. He said, but the one below that is a vindaloo. So that's what we've gone for. Look at the presentation. And I'm gonna scoop it with a bit of keema naan. Right, I'm going straight in. I'm gonna scoop it up. I hope this isn't too hot. Wow, the flavors are incredible. And it's certainly got a little bit of a kick to it much more than the madras which i'm used to i usually go madras hot but it's not too bad i reckon i could handle the next level in saying that give me a few minutes because it's just <laughs> it's just starting to kick in now your typical vindaloo obviously comes with potatoes which i actually quite like in a curry a little bit different and i've gone for lamb which is always a tester with a curry isn't it because sometimes when you go for a lamb dish it can be quite dry so let's give this a go that just melts in the mouth. That is perfectly cooked. Mrs. Travelon is getting stuck in. How's your butter chicken? Nice. Lovely. I like the um, Bolte. You like the Bolte? Right, oh, there you go. Right, I'm gonna give the lamb Bolte a go. We've gone all out on the lamb tonight. Wow. Totally different flavor to the Vindaloo. Mm. Absolutely beautiful. The flavors are just, they're just to die for. And I'm gonna to have to upset Alfie now and have a little sample of his tandoori chicken. Is that all right? I'll just have a little bite of this. Face. Look at that, I love tandoori chicken on the bone and it's Alfie's favorite as well. That is so tender. We've also got some chicken tikka as well. 
which is another tester because sometimes the chicken tikka can be dry. Not this, it's beautiful. And then last but not least, I'm gonna have to try the butter chicken before that disappears because Jack and Mrs. Travelon are diving well into that. Right then, this is the butter chicken. This is for those that like chicken tikka masala and butter chicken and don't like it hot. It's become Mrs. Travelon's favorite butter chicken. And to be honest, that is so, so creamy. That is gorgeous. Right, I'm sort of halfway through the vindaloo. Can you see the perspiration? <laughs> I've got perspiration on the top lip. I think I've got a little bit of sweat down here. It's not so much hot where it burns your mouth, but it literally um, heats you up, if, if that's the right word to use. I'm sort of radiating. <laughs> and the more you eat, the hotter you get. I don't know, but I think this one is definitely mine. There's no doubts about it. Look at this. He's completely and utterly destroyed his tandoori chicken. How was it, Alfie? Good. You're still going. I think that explains it, doesn't it? Jack, how's yours? I see you've got an empty plate. It was really good. You enjoy it? Yeah. Oh, you're getting an expert on curries. And Mrs. Travelon? I love it. Oh, you always love it. She always loves it, does Mrs. Travelon. Easily pleased. Wow. Tell you what, I'm having to have a pad down. That was super hot. It's getting hotter as I'm talking to you as well. But I reckon I could try a fall, you know. I might just do it in the next video, just as a bit of a joke, just to see if I can manage it. In saying that, this one was spicy, but I tell you what, the flavors were immense, and you know I've enjoyed it, look, when you've got an empty plate. Look at that. I am full. What can I say? This place is fabulous. We are definitely coming back to try the Roma Italia next door. We were going to do a bit of a mix and match today just to show you all the different things that they offer. Uh, but it, with, it, with it being opening night, obviously they had a lot to do. So I said, look, let's just stick to the Indian and we'll come back and do another video in the Roma Italia. Two for one. You know me, I'm always up to try a new restaurant so that you lot can see what it's like. But seriously, for opening night, these guys have gone above and beyond. Obviously, it's the first night. There's going to be teething problems. They've been running around like headless chickens, but they've been like ducks floating on the top of the surface, looking very calm. And underneath, they've been kicking and screaming all the way over there. But service was fantastic, always with a smile. Didn't matter how stressed they were on the opening night. Food was absolutely delicious, as always. And I expected nothing less because I'm a big fan of the Spice Fusion as well in the Papagayo Center. And I tell you what, I'm absolutely stuffed. There was a lot of food. Mrs. Travelon, again, has over-ordered. You know what she's like? She's always over-ordering. But you know what? I don't mind finishing it. And I have to get there before bloody Jack now because he tends to clear the plates just like me. And when Alfie gets bigger, well, I'm going to have to really fight, aren't I? But my favourite was certainly the Vindaloo. Alfie, of course, was the tandoori chicken. That's what he has all the time. Was it good? Yeah. Was it better than some of the other Indians yeah. that we've had? Yeah. Yeah, enjoy it. Well, you've got bones on the plate. Mrs. Travelon, what was your favourite? The wine and the butter chicken. The wine and the butter chicken. Now, you said it was one of the best butter chickens Definitely, that you've ever had. Yeah. And you're becoming a bit of a butter chicken expert lately, aren't you? Yeah, butter chicken connoisseur. There you go. But you really enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah? Loved, it. loved it. And Jack, which one was your favourite? My favourite was the Bolty and the butter chicken. The butter chicken. So, there you go. So, just to let you know where this place is situated, it's in La Salle, which is right at the front of the Barcelo Player Blanca Hotel. That's the big massive hotel that they've just been built down here you've got a little commercial center there's loads of shops you've got designer label shops you've got a little ice cream shop just next door where they do nice gelato ice creams cafe supermarkets fun group eight. you literally have everything so once you've had a meal here you can go for a little walk along here and uh, do a little bit of shopping if you want walk off your dinner or you can walk along the front there's so many beautiful places to walk we're a stone's throw from the Marina Rubicon as well. But like I said, right next door is Roma Italia and we are gonna come back and do a video there. But until then, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed our experience here at the brand spanking new Namaste in Playa Blanca Lanzarote. If there's anywhere you want me to go, drop me a comment. Anything you want me to see, let me know. Don't forget to like, follow and subscribe to this channel. It's absolutely free to do so and I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you later.